Hi everyone, welcome back. This is Tuplex. Welcome to episode three of my Angel Bob's SpaceX series. Um, since the last episode, I went ahead and cleared away the manual uh, or the bootstrap copper mining setup that we had over here uh, on the steritite. Uh, and then I've been handcrafting a whole bunch of stuff. I also cleared out some trees over here so that we could put in the next two smelting lines, uh, which are going to be for tin and lead plate. Um, so before we get started on that, I want to set up a, a little provisional arrangement uh, to make nanobots. So uh, let's, let's take a look at the nanobots real quick. For those of you who are not familiar. Uh, the research just finished, by the way. Um, let's see, what should we do next? Um, electronics assembly machine seems like a good idea. Let's do that one. Okay, so for, for those of you who are not familiar with nanobots, uh, there are three components. Uh, there's a nano emitter, uh, which is like a gun. It goes in your weapon slot. Uh, and that is the device that deploys the nanobots. And then you have construction bots and you have termite bots. The termite bots destroy trees. That's all they do. I'm not going to use any of those right now. Um, the construction bots are what I want. Those will act like regular construction bots. The difference though is that these are expendable. They don't, uh, they don't come back to you. Uh, you use them up like ammo. And so that, you know, that, that expense is what I think makes them not as uh, cheaty as they might otherwise seem. But you do go through them pretty quickly, so that's why I want to get this automated. So the ingredients, and I'm not even sure if I have that set up right. Yeah, here, let's do this. All right, so we'll use this to make the construction bots. Uh, in the meantime, I want to handcraft. Oh, wow. All right, let's hit Shift-C. Get rid of some of that excess stuff that I have. All right, so the ingredients are iron axes and repair packs. All right, so the iron axe takes, uh, what, a stick and a plate? Okay, so we'll need iron sticks there. All right, so we'll just do that and then like that. Okay, and then we need repair packs, which we'll do over on this side. And those take gear wheels and circuit boards. Okay, so we'll put another machine here, making gears. And then for now, I'll just manually insert. Actually, let's, uh, let me make a couple more chests here. I'll put that there for circuits. I mean, it's got 200 now, and I think we only need well, we need two each. All right. So that'll give us a um, hundred nanobots. Okay. And I think that ought to do the trick. Huh? Let's see, we need two gears. Why don't we put another inserter here? No, I guess we don't need that. We just, it's, it's two to one. Oh, okay. And then we have to put the nanobots someplace. And that's, <laughs> that's the one thing I didn't leave room for. The most important part. All right. And I'll just limit this to couple of stacks. 
All right, so let me go run over and grab some more of those circuits so that we can use those. Now, the, the next thing that I wanna do uh, that will be very helpful for us, especially for gathering wood, uh, is to get a crawler. Um, but that, uh, that requires science pack twos as well. So I think it's, we're not gonna be able to get that for a bit. So let's figure out what our next research ought to be. Um, we should probably do all these militaries. Actually, you know, since there's a lot of, um, with these mods, you know, as you can see, there are tons and tons and tons of things to research. Um, and a lot of them have a fairly low cost to do. So if you are doing these one at a time manually, you're gonna spend half of your time just in this menu clicking on new things to research. Um, and that's why I wanted to use uh, auto research. So as soon as that electronics assembly machine one finishes, I'm gonna turn off this only research queued and I'm gonna let auto research just automatically add them to the queue. Um, one at a time and it'll always just it'll take the lowest cost uh, item that is currently available okay so we'll do turrets and then you know we'll start to do more and more uh, and then I'm gonna disable recipes that require all these things that we're not making yet so uh, since I disabled all those right now, it'll only make the regular, the ones that require science pack ones. Okay, so I wanted to get more of those circuits over there. Hopefully by now we will have accumulated a nice stack of them. Uh, in the meantime, I should make my emitter. That takes 30 seconds to craft, so let's get that started. Um, and if we get to the point where we want to, I'll put like half of them in there. Okay, so I got 35. If we get to the point that we want to use the termite nanobots, then usually what I'll do is I'll make a second emitter. So I'll have one here with the construction and one with the termites, and then I can, you know, just use my tab key to switch back and forth. All right, so uh, for the next couple of smelting lines, I'm gonna lay these belts in here manually. Uh, and I'm doing that just because the belts are easy to put in and I don't wanna waste nanobots for the stuff that's easy for me to do. It's for all the inserters and power poles and stuff that I wanna use them. Okay, so let's put that in and then I'll hit tab so that my nanobots get selected. And then as you can see, the nanobots slowly just start placing things down. All right, so you can see that they're kind of slow. Uh, the range is limited, but there is research that we can do to increase the speed and increase the range. Uh, and we will do that as we continue to progress here. So um, while the bots are kind of doing their thing, I'll continue to run belts. Unless it gets to it before I do. And as you can see, this makes the job uh, much quicker and easier. But uh, as you can also see, I've almost used up my entire stack of nanobots already. I mean, I didn't start with a full stack, but it was, you know, close to uh, a full stack. All right, I need more iron plate. Let's grab some more of those. All right. Um, the other thing I want to do here is I'm going to set up a buffer for the iron plate. So I'll need a few more chests. And I'll limit these to, uh, let's say five stacks each. One, two, three, four, is that five? 
Yeah, that's five. Okay. Um, so this will, you know, when the belts are backed up, this will add plates into these chests. If the belts get empty, then the plates will start to come out of the chest and back onto the belt. But this is just a way that I can accumulate uh, some extra plates to cover me for my own personal use. I can just come over here and grab a few stacks whenever I need them. There we go. And then I just need to get some, some power for the inserters. Okay. All right, good. So this isn't going to last too much longer before I start to uh, run out of iron because I need to get rid of the stone. So let's uh, let's hurry up and get the rest of this stuff put in here. Um, I do need more belts, so I'll go get those. I think I need to craft some more assembly machines. Actually, I'm going to start crafting belts over there on the iron line rather than doing it here. Let's grab some more circuits while I'm here. Stone brick I'm doing okay with. Okay. Alright, so we have military available, so I will... As soon as I get more iron plate, I'll give myself a vest and a machine gun. Those are good things to have. And we'll get rid of the pistol. In there. And then as soon as I have the machine gun, pistol. All right. Yeah. So we're out of iron and we're out of iron because our stone is backed up. All right. I'll do that part. You do the tedious stuff. Put the coal in there. Okay. I'm out of undergrounds. Where are the undergrounds? There we go. here and absorb the stone so that we can get some more iron. Hopefully that'll start running again. Um, one thing I meant to point out that I didn't mention in the last video, um, and maybe we'll see this once once these smelting lines get running at a higher rate of speed, uh, but you'll notice that we don't get copper ore, or I'm sorry, not copper ore. We don't get steratite as fast as we get sapphirite. And that's because the uh, the mining characteristics uh, or the stats, whatever you want to call it, of the ores are not all the same. Um, you know, in vanilla, everything mines at the same rate, I think, except for stone and coal. But I mean, copper and iron ore mine at the same rate. Um, in this game, if you look at the mining hardness and the mining time, you can see that they're different. So for coal, it's 0.9 and 2. For sapphirite, it's 1 and 1.5. And then for steratite, it's 1.5 and 2. So um, that's why you can see with, with eight drills here, we're not even getting half a belt. And with eight drills here, we have, you know, one side of the belt full and uh, we get the ore out a lot faster over there. And it's the same with the coal. It's, it's going to be coming out faster than those other two. So that's just something to keep aware of um, as you go through the game here. 
All right, so these are going to be not stereotype. Um, let me see. I'm gonna hit Control E to go to FNEI. Uh, I want this one to be tin plate, and I just can't remember which ore. Okay, so Bob Monium uh, will give us tin plate. So these need to be crushed. Bob Monium. And then these down here are going to be crushed rubite. And those will give us lead. Okay. And I need more long inserters. And for that I need more iron. I wasn't expecting to have an iron shortage this early in the game. Here we need more circuits. And I need to craft some lights as well. And we need more undergrounds. And I think that'll do it. Okay, and I forgot to set up my belt production. Okay, looks like we're doing good on power poles. So uh, we're just gonna have to wait for this other stuff to finish crafting so we can come back when that's ready. A couple more lights over here. Sometimes it's faster <laughs> to do it yourself than it is to wait for the nanobots, um, especially at level one like we have now they're kind of slow okay and i need to set up my belts so let's do that up here Actually, i'll give myself some more room all right so that'll be belts this will be gears and this of course is just temporary until we can get our you know, until we can get our bus started and start making this stuff in a higher volume situation. Okay. And I think I'm just going to handcraft some belts as well. All right. Now I think everything else is done. Okay, except for that underground and this underground. Okay, so now that we have all these in place, we can set up the line to take care of the stone. So let me get rid of this cool looking rock. It's kind of disappointing that it only gives us stone and nothing else. <laughs> it looks like there should be some uh, cool stuff in there. All right, we'll get rid of a few of these trees and then we will set up a line to make stone brick. All right, so, and we'll do this in the traditional method. Um, actually, you know what, I'm going to, I'm going to set this up to make it kind of symmetrical with these lines above it. This is not really space efficient, but I think, I think it'll look, I think it'll look good. Don't. All right, let's get more belts. I'll set it up with the stone going down the middle and then the stone brick going to the outside and that way it'll all be kind of um, not symmetrical, but you know, we'll have a consistent design theme, I would say. All right, I'm gonna 
hit shift C just to get rid of excess stuff. Okay. And I think I'm going to need to start crafting some more inserters and so on. All right, so this can go like that. Um, and I am going to, I'm going to also buffer stone down here. And then let's see, this will be like that. Right. So the final line of coal will go down here. do it like this. Like I said, it's not space efficient, but I think it'll I think it'll look nice to have everything lined up like that. All right. Oops. All right, so we can do it like that and then we'll need power pole there. We'll need one there. We'll need one in the middle, and then one there, and one there. And then we can put a light. Now we'll just put it there, down the center, like that. Okay, and then I'll grab a blueprint of that. Minus that chest. Just copy that over. These power poles are an absolute mess. With all those uh, crisscrossing wires and everything, it's a disaster. All right, let's make a few more inserters. That belt can end there. That belt can end. Oh no, I'm sorry, this belt has to continue. That belt can end there. All right, so if I put these down. No, it's still just a crisscrossed mashup. Okay, well, that's all right. I guess I can live with it. All right, and why are we not making, oh. I made these all face the wrong way. That's kind of embarrassing. All right, fortunately that's easy to fix. Okay, and then these go this way. Okay, so that'll start to eat up the the stone, which should keep the rest of this running. All right, uh, let's get some belts. Actually, let's increase this to 400. It's hard to have too many belts, especially this early in the game when you're doing almost nothing but laying belts. need one more here and then we can start to set up the mining drills and stuff that we need for um, for the lead and the tin plates okay actually rather than buffer the stone here no that's fine because I want to I want to make sure I can grab some before. Whoops. 
want to make sure I can grab some before it gets turned into brick. I was thinking that I would just put the buffer for stone down here so that the extra stone will just go to the end and then get put into chests. But the problem is, is that if I'm not making a lot of stone, then all the stone is going to get converted into brick and I might not necessarily want that. All right, so let's make, um, let's make my buffer set up here. Two, and we'll set these to one, two, three, four, five slots each. I'll grab a blueprint of that. And then we can just plop it down in these other places. And I need more inserters. So I'll be very happy when we when we start making inserters for science pack twos. All right. Okay. So now we need to craft more mining drills. Uh, let's do 5, 10, uh, 15, 16. We'll do 8 on each one like we have been doing. Just want to check my power again. Looks like we're still doing fine. Okay, so we just need to bring the Bobmonium and uh, Rubite. And we'll start with the Bobmonium. All right, now this I can remove. Actually, we can do this the easy way now. I'm going to pick up the full chest manually because who knows how many nanobots that would eat up. Okay, this needs iron. This needs copper. Pick that up. Okay, so there's rubite. Where's my bobmonium is down here to the south. So let's do that one first. Um, actually, let me grab some belts before we go because I'm running low and I don't want to run out and have to come all the way back here. So we might as well grab them before we head down. And it would be nice to have a light or two over here as well. So once we get this set up, then we'll start to lay out the main bus and get some science production going. Okay. So now we get a lot of belts. All right. So this is going to be coming across like this. So I'll just cut a path. Oh, yeah. Well, I don't need to do this the hard way anymore. Now that I have the bots. There. See, that's much easier. All right, so this needs to go on the other side of this coal belt. Okay. There's four and eight. This is hardness 1.75, mining time 2.5. So this is going to be mining even more slowly than the steratitis. Oh, I'm out of power pulse. Wow. See, they go back and forth a couple times before any work comes out. 
Now the good thing is that um, we don't use this ore up very quickly. Um, I think we'll end up using a lot more tin than we do lead. Um, but it, it's the demand for it is not really that high, uh, you know, compared to copper and iron. It's uh, it's a very low demand for those things. Okay, so that's the bobmonium, and then the last one is the rubite. Let's go ahead and grab that. Now I should be able to. Yeah, so you can see now that we did that that first level of uh, of long build. Uh, I can reach quite a bit farther to place things down. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Looks like a fine place to start. And one there, one there, one there, one there. And then we join those in the middle. And I guess we'll join up with the power grid down here. There we go. And these are mining hardness 1.75 and mining time 2.5. I think that's the same as what the bobmonium was. All right, now the rubite needs to... Where can we route this belt? Um, I think we can bring it straight south and then cut over and run alongside the bobmonium belt. Seems like that will be a good way to do it. Uh, actually, let's go ahead and take the full the full width because I'll probably have a second belt of copper at some point. All right, and then let's clear a path through the trees right there, and a path through the trees right there. able to see <laughs> the belt under these trees. There we go. Okay, and then we jump across, jump across. All right, and we have enough room to get past the water there. All right, and we'll need to clear some more space there. And I need to get more belts. So let's go do that. Okay, we got a lot of bots, which is awesome. I'm gonna grab a bunch of iron. I have a lot of stone here, which I think I'm just gonna dump into the chest down here. Oh, and the other nice thing about having these bricks is that I can start to lay out some walking paths as well. Okay, so we'll put all the stone in there. Right, and we can see that we're having no trouble at all um, taking care of all the stone that's coming out. Uh, we are starting to get a few tin plates here uh, rather slowly, but we're not feeding it a whole lot yet either. So that'll pick up once we start giving it some more to do. All right, and then I'll bring this, keeping with the theme of one space in between each belt. Oh, which worked out perfectly. Okay, so this should start to give us some lead plate. And I wanna put, I'm gonna put a light out here at the end of each one of these to make that look nice. Now the, the Afraid of the Dark mod has these other lights, which I've never used. I, I, th I think I'm gonna have to try them out in this playthrough, because uh, I've never, never used them before, and I'm sure they serve some useful purpose. Okay, um, yeah, that looks good. Uh, we need more iron in our research over here. because that has come to a stop. I think we can pick up our coal mining operation. 
Oh no, actually we need copper. Okay. Yeah, so let's um, let's pick up these coal miners. And I think I'm pretty much done with burner mining drills. Um, I don't think that they are an ingredient for any other item. If I right click it, yeah, if I right click it, it'll tell me what it's used in. Like if I right click that, I can see that it's used in a regular ore crusher. But uh, yeah, the burner drills are not useful to us any longer. So I'll put them there for now. I won't destroy them yet because we might find a use for them. Okay. So we should be making all the plates now. Yep, there we got some lead plates coming out. We got tin plates, copper plates, and iron plates. Um, now iron and copper I think could use a little more volume and it looks like we also need more power. So let's double up on our power before we do anything else. Uh, let's add another four boilers and eight steam engines. And we'll take a look at our research. Um, yeah, I'm going to want silos and warehouses soon. But so far, I think I'm okay with... Is it doing, it's doing automation two now. I'm not sure why it's doing that when we have all these other ones that are less expensive. Hmm. Okay, so I'm gonna stop, stop the auto research at this point. Let's do radars two. And then I would like to do or silos. I would like to do warehouses. Um, and we need to do metallurgy so we can start to make steel. Actually, we'll do that. Actually, let's do that now, and then we'll do radars. Radars gives us access to the next tier of radar, which um, has a higher range and a quicker scan time, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but we do need to put a radar over here so that we have vision. Let's see, it's one, two, let's put it right there. It's approximately in the middle of this area. All right, and I needed one, oh, I needed iron so that I can make another steam engine. All right, I'll just grab all of it. Why not? All right, one more steam engine. And then I think for the rest of the episode, I'll start to lay in some walking paths so that we can move around the base more quickly. Because I feel like now we're starting to do a lot more running around than I would like to. All right, I'm gonna need four burner inserters. All right, and I'm gonna do this the easy way. couple of iron pipes. Um, you'll notice that you can make pipes from stone and copper and steel. Now it used to be that the different pipes had different diameters. Um, so depending on, you know, depending on the fluid dynamics uh, that you were working with, uh, it would be advantageous to use different pipe sizes. You know, so if you have like you know, if you have small volumes, um, 
moving into an assembly machine, for example, you might use a smaller pipe so that the pipe fills up faster. Uh, when the pipe fills up, you get more pressure, you get faster flow that way. Um, but that was causing some problems. I asked, I asked Bob about it and uh, he said that that was creating issues. So he changed it back so that all the pipes are the same size in terms of diameter and flow rate. Now, where they are different is um, as you get to the higher tiers, like copper, iron, and stone, That's those are all tier one pipes. Uh, steel pipe is the next tier up. Uh, as you increase in tiers, the underground pipes will travel farther. Um, so these all do 10 tiles. Uh, the steel underground pipes will go 15 tiles. Uh, so that's that's the only advantage now of using different pipes. Uh, but for now, like these three pipes, they all essentially work the same and you can just use whichever one you want. You know, the stone pipe just uses stone bricks. So those are pretty cheap. Um, we might use those instead of, instead of iron from time to time. Okay, so let's lay out uh, some paths. Uh, we're gonna make them four wide. I like to leave two spaces, so I'll do I'll do one path here vertically, um, and I'll go back and clear the trees and and put underground belts in place. Uh, we'll do another one up here. We'll do another one here. All right, so we'll kind of box in our starting smelting area. All right, I'm going to move that radar then in this case. We'll just put it there on the inside. Oh no. This and then there. And then I think I'll also lay in a path that comes over here and I'll lay in another path that goes over to this area. But we're already out of time, so I will do that between episodes. And I will see you next time where we will start to get a bus put together and hopefully start to automate red science. And, uh, or not red science, but science packs ones and maybe even twos if we have time. So I'll see you then. Thanks for joining me. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.